Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week's adventure is right up my alley. When I was a kid, I loved to learn how to live off the land. Hunting and fishing adventures will do that. This week we head out to the Oregon coast and meet a wild edible expert who teaches us how to forage or harvest wild plants. And then we head to the kitchen to prepare a wild edible feast. Who needs waders when you have wool pants? John Kalis recently showed us that when the time goes out, the dinner table is set. Grab a little bit of it and cut it with your scissors. From seaweed. Rinse it off and uh, have a taste. Or digging supper from the sea. And there are butter clams. You're allowed 20. There's another one. Pretty easily done. Finally, in the forest, where salad fixings are easy to find. All wild foods are like finding treasure because it's something valuable that you can do something with. It's fun. So, now that we've gathered... I like to think the best is yet to come. Yes, well, the eating is always good. <laughs> it's time to cook. Wild foods are just traditional foods that we've lost touch with. All hands on deck as Kalis directs a wild edible feast. <laughs> Items are sorted, cleaned, and chopped. Just, uh, the seaweed salad and a forest green salad. Big leaf maple flowers. Over there's a chopped clam stir fry. And then we can put the fiddlehead fern. Fiddle we have the clams in there. I have yes. red pepper, yellow pepper. And we put nettles, stinging nettles are in there. Totally harmless uh, once they're cooked. Here's the centerpiece. Clam chowder with onions, potatoes, fiddlehead ferns, and a bowl full of butter clams. When you open the shell, that shell is filled with clam. There's no wasted space in there. So when you get a big clam, you know you're getting a huge amount of food. Kalis calls many wild ingredients forgotten foods, plants that have been largely lost to time. Native Americans gathered all year long. They would process, 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 store most of it. And all year long, they would be eating from the diversity of the food storage. And that's how they got a complete diet. Judging from the results, this diet is a hit with the crowd. Very good. The clam chowder turned out good. I can't remember now. I love the, the seaweed salad with the sesame ginger dressing. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. There isn't anything here I didn't like and I wouldn't eat multiple times mm -hmm. again if given the opportunity. It was so good. And it was really fun going out and getting it. Kalis enjoys making meals fun, but he admits his real goal is to get people closer to the planet so they'll take better care of it. If you know that you're gathering your food from Mother Nature and you see people spraying all over the place, that should be of concern to you. The more that people realize that food just doesn't come from the supermarket, they'll be more protective of other land. We'll just be better off altogether. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can reach out and connect with John Kalis and his book and his recipes right here on the Travel Oregon website. So be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the Oregon outdoors. Let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.